would like to start by going over calculating the stiffness for a bolt and for members in a bolted connection. And uh, what we're looking at, we're seeing here a bolted connection using a bolt and a nut. And then we have here a screw into a tapped part. And uh, this is table eight, seven from your textbook. And it's a good put together of how to calculate the stiffness of a bolt. And uh, I want you to pay special attention to how we find the total length of the bolts based on the grip lengths, the thickness of the nut, thickness of the nut. So a bolt length would have to be the total length L would have to be greater than the grip lengths plus the thickness of the nut when you have a bolted connection, if you have a bolt and a nut. If you have a screw, if you have a screw, then uh, the total length of the screw, you see here, this is all the way, this is a threaded part, but your screw may end here. And if you look at this carefully, this is equal to H, the lowercase h, plus one and a half the diameter of the bolt. So the length of the screw needs to be greater than h, and h is the thickness of a washer, if you're using a washer, plus the thickness of the first member that is connected to the tapped member. So H plus one and a half the diameter, at least. That should be the length of the screw. Then uh, in order to find the grip length, grip length, if I have a bolted connection with a bolt and a nut, I am looking at everything that goes between the head of the bolt and the nut. So everything that is compressed between the head of the bolt and the nut. So I'm looking here, for example, if I'm looking at this, I'm looking for the thickness of the first member, the thickness of the second member, and the thickness of a washer. That would be my grip length, lowercase l, okay? So uh, for a screw though, if I want to calculate the grip length, I'll be looking at h, h plus the smallest of either T2 over two or D over two, okay? That would be the grip length. The threaded length for uh, inch series is equal to twice the diameter plus a quarter inch or half inch depending on the total length of the uh, bolt or the screw. In a metric series, it's twice the diameter plus a six mil, 12 mil or 25 mil, again, depending on the total length of the screw or the bolt, okay? Now, uh, having identified the grip lengths, we can uh, find the threaded portion within the grip if we know the length of the unthreaded portion in the grip. So the length of the unthreaded portion is equal to the total length minus the threaded length, minus the threaded length. And uh, we already know how to calculate the threaded length. Now the length of the threaded portion in the grip is equal to uh, L minus LD, lowercase L minus LD. The length of the unthreaded portion so this is the threaded portion. The unthreaded portion is LD, uh, L, sorry, uppercase L, which is the length minus the total length of the threaded portion. So every time you're gonna have a portion 
the total unthreaded portion within the grid, but not all the threaded portion is gonna be part of the grid. So this is why there is this uh, lower case LD. Uh, there is a lower case LD here equal to L minus LT. This is the unthreaded uh, portion, okay? But the threaded portion is partially gonna be within the grip. So this is the reason we have an uppercase LT and a lowercase L sub T. The area of the unthreaded portion would be using the nominal diameter of the bolt D. So I can calculate the area using pi D squared over four. The threaded portion area is gonna be found from tables 8.1 or 8.2, depending on whether you're using a metric system or an English system. As we discussed, the bolt behaves like two axial members connected in series or two springs connected in series. So the stiffness of the bolt is a combination of the stiffness of the unthreaded portion and the threaded portion and may be given by AD times AT, the area of the unthreaded portion multiplied by the area of the threaded portion, multiplied by the modulus of elasticity, divided by AD, L lowercase LT, the threaded portion, plus the area of the threaded portion multiplied by the unthreaded lens within the grip. Okay. So this is how we're gonna calculate the stiffness of the board. Next, I wanna go over 